just get backlash from the black community over over the over the position of an amateur. I'm gonna say it strong too. Over an amateur rookie, fresh new leg ass comic coming in the game and went up. Godfrey did an hour and a half. And a, a, a new rookie comic came up behind him, and the people got mad at Godfrey because the rookie is T.I. He's he supposed to eat that. T.I. went up after Godfrey. Is there a TV on? Yeah, yeah. Turn, 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 turn it down. 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 Turn it I got all the comedians from the South calling me. I said, oh, something's going on. All this Southern shit comes Oh, they pressing you? No, 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 not, 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 not supportive. Okay. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And so they said, and I see this video, Godfrey, man, how could you, how can I do what? I see T.I. is on a live. I see, what is going on? And in my head, I go, oh, I bet you they took the shit that I said on the podcast wrong about T.I. doing comedy. I bet you they just took it out of context. <laughs> And I was right. First of all, first of all, I fuck with T.I. I, I fuck with his music. Dude, I would go on stage playing his music. What the fuck is... I, I, yeah. I'm a T.I. fan. Yeah. And I've, and I've interviewed T.I. with uh, Lord Jamar and Raw Digger on the Yada Mean podcast, because I do that podcast. We, so T.I.'s always been a you know, cool dude. Like, I fuck with him hard. Mm. So I'm in Atlanta, Atlanta Comedy Theater. You know, Gary Abdo don't, sometimes don't give a fuck how he run his shows. Um, <laughs> Because he, he runs a bus depot of comics in there. And he'll just throw everybody. And I told Gary, you're not going to do that eight niggas go up before me. That ain't happening. Yeah, yeah. I, let I, me go Let me go get mine, and then you can do, you can do this yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm going to do bop, bop, yeah. bop, and that's it. So I get off stage. Artie Fuqua is hosting. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. So I, so I get off stage. You know how you you know you you do an hour and some change, and you, uh, good night. Uh, Ow! <laughs> wreck the stage. You like yeah. mic drop. Uh, body, body. Good night, Atlanta. Yeah. This is what? Ain't nothing happening after this. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 that nigga here, Grand Hustle, come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, and so, I'm, uh, so I'm playing T.I. What you know about that? What you know about that? <laughs> yo, so I get off stage. I go down the stairs. Of the, of the, and, and Artie goes, yo, T.I. wants to go up. And I go, the fuck who? What, what do you mean T.I. wants to go up? I was like, T.I.? You mean T.I.? T.I.? He's here? He goes, yeah, he wants to go up. And do what? And do what? I thought maybe, is he promoting an album? Is he going to do some? I said, oh, he's doing comedy? I was like, oh. <laughs> I didn't know. And so I was like, all right, fuck it. Um, fuck it. All right, let him go up. It's You know, I said, it's his town. It's Gary Epps. Fuck it. So I went to the green room, like headliners do. Yeah. When we finish rocking and leaving our product on the stage, we go to our, our the green room and just chill the fuck out. And they were like, well, you're not going to go watch him? I go, why would I do that? That's I'm, I'm better at this than him. Who's <laughs> asking you this? They're asking. They asked you to go see him. Why would I? I'm about to make me curse right now, bro. Listen, listen, yeah, listen. Yeah. listen. They're wilding now, bro. Listen, listen. To the wrong listen. One. listen. To the wrong and I go, one. and I said, why would I do that? I'm saying as far as comedy, now, if T.I. was up there rapping, I'd come and go, hell yeah. Yeah. Because I fuck with T.I. I'm a fan. And I go, but I'm, this is comedy. I go, is he serious? Is this a joke? I thought it was a, that was bullshit. Yeah. Even if an amateur comic sends me a video, they go, can you watch my stuff? I go, I'm not watching you. Fuck am I watching you for? You've yeah. been doing it three years. I do that to other comedians. You thought it was I don't a spoof. Even... You thought it was a spoof. I said I was a spoof like that 50 cent at the, at the Super Bowl. I thought that was Craig <laughs> Robinson upside down. I was like, yo. I was like, yo, they playing with your man 50. They got Craig Robinson <laughs> doing 50. Oh, that's 50 for real. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, when 50 was hanging upside down, I was like, 
like, yo, they got to stop playing. Man. That's Keenan they, Thompson, right? They, they, they call him a fat bat. <laughs> yeah, they call that nigga a fat bat. <laughs> yeah. Hanging upside down. Man. They was wild. They was wild with that. <laughs> so, they was wrong. They was dead wrong. So, so, yo, I go, I go, yell, I go, yeah, man. I said, as a comedian, you know, just in the in the pecking order, like, there's the, the host, da, 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 you can do guest spots. I don't even watch the host. I don't watch the middle act. You know, we just don't, because we're just in our own heads. I said, yeah. why would I go and watch him? Because I would, I, it, it wouldn't even be with a critical eye. It would be like, what the fuck is going on? Why <laughs> even bother? But why? So it wasn't, a, it wasn't a diss to T.I. And, and I was like, and I explained it on the podcast. I said, man, I mean, I fuck with T.I. I respect the guy. But I'm a, I'm the comedian. We've been doing this shit 30. And in 30 years, I'm like, I do this shit every day. You know, I was on stage last night three times. I did three shows last night at the cell. I did three different shows last night. And I just came from Missouri, and I put my shit down, walked, took a shower, went downtown, and still went on stage. Like, this is what the fuck we do. Yeah. So it wasn't a diss to him. It was the comedy culture. And I think Donnell Rollins said something, made a comment like, well, some people just don't want to see your motherfuckers. I said, really, Donnell? Really, Donnell? See, that's, that's the it's Donnell, you've been doing this shit. Really, <laughs> Donnell? Did you really? Wait, this? Donnell's in a very political place in his career, man. Right I know, I know. He doesn't want to shit the boat. He got to be nice to a lot of people right now. No, but, my, look, but, I'm, but I'm not even being mean to T.I., man. No, no, no. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you 100. You know, and it's like, I'm like, yo. And I said, so I didn't, and so I guess I didn't watch T.I.'s video. I'm not watching T.I.'s video. And if he feels like, because he, he gave me a compliment. He said, man, I see Godfrey as a giant. Blah, 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 the comedy giant. I said, yeah, but you should look at it from a perspective of, yeah, you're a rap superstar. My my surprise that you're doing comedy is just natural. Like, what? You're doing comedy? Yeah. You're really yeah. What? Yo. Okay. Yo, it's just like they look at Kobe and, and, and Allen Iverson and Chris Webber for trying to rap. They looked at them like they was cross-eyed. Exactly. Like they and Shaq. Look at what you're doing. Yeah. And Shaq. They clowned them. And, and let me tell you this. People in general take shots at comedians, but I think rappers are the most egregious at telling the comic he corny. Yo, that nigga's corny, son. Fuck that nigga, B. Hey, right. yo, word up. Hey, yo, yo, Ali, come over here. Your man right there, right. corny. They're rappers will tell you you corny. That's like me. Corny. That's like me after T.I. After T. gets T. I. Got off stage. I go, hey, T.I., man, move off the way. Yo, yo. Huh. <laughs> uh. Listen, man. Yo, I'm breaking down. I said, fuck that nigga's rhymes. <laughs> Niggas will be like, what? You're absolutely right. After after he rocked, you want to come up here and freestyle. I would tell you. just started. <laughs> Yo, T.I. would be fucking appalled after he just finished doing all his greatest hits. And that nigga Steve Harvey, they say, Yo, Steve Harvey say he won't go up and do his new shit. Like, and he'd be like, yeah. at the Grand Hustle concert? Yeah, I don't you give you a damn that. about no T.I. I got my song. <laughs> Fuck a T.I. My turn. <laughs> People will wait for Steve Harvey. I just want to wait for your bullshit to end. Now my turn. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Yeah. You know, yeah. it wasn't. So, so the way they did, you know, and you know, for some reason, people need to take a context class. Take shit out of it. They want to always see that we're shitting on each other. I don't shit on another black man like that. I don't do shit like that. I'm talking about the art form. You know what I mean? I don't get, and I told T.I., I said, T.I., can we can have a conversation. I'm not going to run, let's, let's have a conversation, because I didn't know you made the, I didn't know you made a live saying that I tried to diss you. I didn't know. Yo, if, he'd came, if, he'd, if he were, he had that much respect for you, he would have been like, yo, come check me out and see, tell me what you think. Exactly. And, and, and then if you ignored him, then he could say, I got That's different. Whatever. But you can't just be like, I'm up there, Godfrey. you got to come see me. If he said, Godfrey, <laughs> if you can expeditiously come and watch my show, I was really <laughs> psychological hell. I would be like, hell yeah, I'll help you out, man. That would be like, that would be a privilege, no problem. I said, I'm really kind of ask him. I said, you really trying to do this, huh? I said, all right. Cool. Is he though? Is he? This is the thing about comics, man. I'm sick of shit. Comics will help any goddamn body. <laughs> we we're, we're, if motherfucking Trump would have came to somebody, hey, I'm, I wanna, I wanna, um, 
I want my, my, my speech. I want it to be funny. It's going to be a comic that's going to help him write the shit to be funny. Of comic, course. Anybody. But at the same time that we help, we open ourselves up to get dissed and disrespected. The reason why people don't respect our craft sure. is because at some point, and, and, and God, for you 20 years in at this point. 25. 25. So you 25, I'm 24, Rudy's what, 30? 15 years, fellas. <laughs> you buying son of a bitch. I just, I just started, my nigga. <laughs> Did you look off that way? <laughs> they cloned me, they cloned me in 2016. Yeah. <laughs> 15 years, uh, brother. <laughs>
because it's a constant, like, even when, when Chris Rock would go up working on his shit, and you know Chris Rock is a technician, man. He'll go up with his fucking shit, and they'll be like, yo, Chris Rock, and then the applause stops right away. Like, all right, nigga, let's go. You know, even to him. They do it to him. They do it to Chappelle. They do, and it's like, you know, it's like, I think T.I. is like a shiny new object. Everyone's like, whoa, it's T.I. But after a while, after that first, that third big word, you like, all right, nigga. Yeah, yeah, people are like this. You know, they're gonna be, that's yeah. how they turn towards us. Yeah. Motherfuckers be like this. Even people that come to see you. Niggas like, yeah, let's see what this nigga. Even the ones that come to see you. Are yo, you a hard time? The illest shit I heard somebody tell me is like, yo, my nigga, I thought you was corny. But after tonight, I'm like, I don't know how to take that shit. It's like, I've been doing this for damn near 20 years. You thought I was corny. Now I'm funny tonight. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Niggas like this, man. I thought you was like, you know, like one of dudes that like white. They'll people. tell you. Like, nigga, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Like, cats man. crazy shit to you. These are the fans of yours. Yeah, man. I don't think. <laughs> understand what comics go through comics are different ti you're going to get into a fight you're going to fight if you if you start doing stand-up you're going to fight because somebody can come tell you yo you trash like like in your face like they i i'm not finna, nigga, i'm not gonna review your album and you know no motherfucking stars and not stars <laughs> right up you say nigga i spent my hard on money man <laughs> fucking trash where, 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 Paul Moody needs to be still alive, man. Man, like, nigga, sit your goddamn ass down. Listen, Paul Moody, nigga. Cortez, Cortez, whatever. Dude, need- Rodney, Rodney Winfield. We, oh, Winfield. I need all these <laughs> prior to come back. It's like, nigga, your ass is terrible. <laughs> Damn. Nigga, what shut the fuck up, down, motherfucker. T.I., <laughs> yeah, shit. You need to stick to rabbit in that. Every nigga think he's funny. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, nigga, that, and that nigga Richard Brown's son, damn, show ain't funny. He's like, my okay. Son, shit. 